Race four of the BMW IBSF two-man bobsleigh World Cup. Another blustery, snowy afternoon in Winterberg, Germany. Francesco Friedrich's best result of the season had been a brace of 13th places in North America. But after the first of the two heats, he was in sixth place on a German track. Could the four-time two-man world champion produce a medal? Well, he took the lead by some margin. Next up, though, was Chris Spring, one of three different winners in two-man this season. Another great start with Neville Wright. The Whistler winner was behind Friedrich, but then found speed at the bottom of the track that the Germans had no answer to. It was a dead heat at the line, two leading with four to go. Fourth place after the first of the two heats was Justin Cripps. Well, it was a snowstorm by the time he and Alex Kopax got their start. Second in Whistler, just behind teammate Spring. He was just behind teammate Spring again. And the joint leaders would hold on. Cripps unable quite to close the gap at the line. 300s covered the top two with three sleds remaining. And two of them were new names. Rookie Clemens Brasher in his first ever two-man World Cup race, starting in a blizzard for Switzerland, replacing Beat Hefty. And Brasher, third after the first, he just drove away from his rivals, opening up the margin to take the lead with two sleds remaining. Alexander Kazinov had been second after the first heat and he stumbled, leaving Nick Polignato the first round leader. Another big start with Lascelles Brown, the 39-year-old brakeman, but Polignato couldn't quite produce the gem he needed to take his first win. He slipped down the order and would drop to fifth position at the line, still a tenth of a second behind, but the first time win going to Clemens Brescher of Switzerland with Mikel Quonen. Top five for Nick Polignato, all three Canadian sleds in the top five, but Brescia victorious on his World Cup debut. Justin Cripps remains the points leader.